When Ruby was a little girl, she was my oldest, and a lot of responsibility seemed to fall onto her, and she was such a good help to me. She was so good to help dress kids with me, or I'd say, Ruby, come do this. Ruby, would you mind doing that? And she just really took on the role of the oldest sister, and she was my right arm sometimes. She really helped out. And I can remember telling her, Ruby, when you get a family and you and your husband go on a vacation, you call me because I'm going to come babysit for you because I owe you. And that is how I feel. I just feel like I really owe her some help because she was always so good to help me. On October 11th, Ruby Frankie's sister, Bonnie Holing, posted a video titled Our Childhood, which has now been set to private. Now, I believe this video was only up for maybe a matter of hours, if not minutes, before she decided to private the video. I have not seen any clips of this video floating around out there, so she took it down pretty quickly. However, someone on Reddit was able to type up a summary of the video, so we're going to go over that. She starts off the video by explaining that these last few weeks have been emotionally taxing on her and her family. Multiple Netflix producers have reached out about filming a docu-series. She states that the one reason she would consider agreeing to do a docu-series is to tell her side of the story, but notes that, in reality, there is just so much legal that goes into it. There is so much PR that goes into it, and that it is not something I feel like any of us could really handle. She goes on to further state that if she desires her side of the story to be shared, she will share it on her own platform. She states that throughout this video, she will be providing a timeline of her life concerning Ruby. So that was kind of surprising to me because there's already a Hulu series out. So I just wonder if Hulu didn't reach out to any of Ruby's family. She begins the timeline by explaining they had a good childhood. That was all one could really ask for. She added a text box stating, we were given all the basics and beyond. We knew we were loved. We had so many great experiences growing up. And I'm sure she brought this up because we heard in hers and Jolie's video that at some point, Ruby allegedly started making up lies about their family or experiences that Ruby had. And they all had a family meeting about it and agreed that it was all lies. She did call my mom and yelled at my mom on the phone for 45 minutes and accused her of things that were not true. It was almost as if Ruby had been making up memories from her childhood. She was trying to grab at anything she could and she would exaggerate on everything. So she started all of her lies back then, lying to everyone in her life which is just interesting because we don't know what these claims are. Ruby could have had a very different experience than her sisters growing up. The things that she was accusing my parents of, the things that she was accusing us kids of, it, they were just flat out made up stories from our childhood. We sat down together as a family and we said, okay, are the things Ruby's accusing the family of are these true or did we really grow up and were the things that ruby was saying really going on and maybe i just didn't know about it mom and dad had a meeting with every one of us kids and we, and we all just came to the conclusion that no this is a lie she goes on to state that the way she interacted with ruby was different than the way she interacted with ellie and julie she mentions that everyone has different personalities, but that she enjoyed that aspect of her family because it makes them who they are. She states that while growing up, Ruby hated to share, which she describes as not necessarily a terrible thing. It was just what made Ruby, Ruby. Most arguments she had with her sisters were typical arguments between teenage sisters. From comparing her relationship with her siblings to the relationship her parents have with their siblings, she had hoped the adolescent fighting with her siblings would also translate to a strong and healthy adult relationship. 
She goes on to state that after Ruby had children, their frequent communications had decreased. She hypothesizes that this could have been related to Ruby's postpartum experiences. As such, Bonnie began getting closer to her other sisters. She goes on to recall a time when Ruby was flabbergasted that Bonnie took a bath with her infant. Ruby then went on to say, I want another baby so I can take a bath with a baby. I don't know in what context Ruby was supposedly flabbergasted by this situation. I don't know. This is just a really weird thing to throw into the video, but all right. Bonnie then describes Ruby as competitive. At some point, Bonnie asked Ruby, why do you want another one? Bonnie explained that she could see the stress Ruby was under with the children she had. As a response, Ruby stated, well, mom had five, so I can have six. Growing up, the Griffith sisters had taken up piano. Throughout their piano endeavors, Ruby sought to be the best rather than enjoy the experience. Growing up, Bonnie reflects on the structure of the relationship she had with Julie and Ellie. With Julie and Ellie, the three of them were each other's protectors and support systems. Rather than take a self-centered approach, they cared more about the other person's needs being met. She uses the information displayed in the previous notation to seg into explaining her experiences with Ruby's selfishness and competitiveness. Bonnie goes further to explain that Ruby's habits and inclinations made it hard for her to form long-lasting friendships with people. She goes on to state that in adulthood, Ruby was never able to make long-lasting friends. Yep, so I can see why she deleted this one. Bonnie goes on to explain that she feels her mother catered to Ruby. Growing up with an aunt who requires extended and specialized care, Bonnie was taught by her parents that not everyone has the same capacities or abilities in life. She used this lesson from her parents to better understand Ruby. To quote, Ruby didn't have the same capacity to be compassionate or selfless as the rest of us. And so where one person lacks, the other person picks up the slack and that's what you do with family. Bonnie states that Ruby put a lot of unnecessary pressure on herself to be more than she could reasonably be. Much like Bo, I think it is, Ruby took AP classes. Bonnie feels that Ruby felt like she had to force herself to do more than what she was capable of. In their teenage years, Bonnie ran for Miss Roy. When she asked Ruby if she would help her make a dress for the competition, Ruby's response was, well, why didn't I get to run for Miss Roy? Bonnie believes that Ruby's inclination to follow whatever is the most popular at that time and inability to see her own self-worth is how she was drawn into the current situation. Ruby always wanted to be the best at whatever everyone was doing at the time. Rather that be vlogging, subscriber counts, views, etc. Ruby was never content with life. She always had to be working towards the next bigger and better thing, regardless of if it was harmful. Later in the video, Bonnie posits that she believes Ruby lacks the self-confidence needed to make sound and secure decisions. Bonnie then segs into discussing Ruby cutting off the family. She begins this with a text box that states, when she cut our family off, she used a lot of lies she made up as reasons she was cutting us off. Bonnie points out that Ruby named her firstborn son Chad after their father. She posited that she doesn't believe that Ruby would have done that if she didn't love and appreciate her father. Bonnie closes this video with the hopes that it provides clarity into what it was like to grow up with Ruby. The final screen of the video is four text boxes. The first one states, I believe that Jody saw how insecure Ruby was and she preyed upon her. Jody groomed Ruby into what Jody wanted Ruby to be. With that said, Ruby is still 100% responsible for her actions. The second states, I believe that Ruby saw an opportunity to be one of the top dogs of connections, especially when she wasn't doing well on YouTube anymore. So her competitiveness kicked in. The third stated, I believe Ruby has a hard time thinking for herself or feeling confident with what she has. So it was easy for Jody to step in and just tell her exactly what to think. The fourth, I believe Ruby wanted to have a story or a trauma that she could tell Jody, but simply didn't have one. Or Jody forced her into telling her lies about our family, which Jody is known for doing. Ruby selfishly made stories up about our family. As things have unfolded now, we can see that this is something that Jody has done is she gets in people's lives and she plants these ideas or accusations against people when that is just not true. And so that was definitely a lot of information. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comments. But this is just what I mean about I think Bonnie should just stop talking about this situation altogether. 
I mean, this is not the first video that she has put out and now deleted, and reasonably so, but I feel like she's going to say something that she's going to regret later on. And I, if I waited to start filming until the process was, was, was over, I would never start filming again. So I, it feels really good to film. There's a lot of people that have some opinions on this, but if, if I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it. But filming has always felt very good to me. And so this feels really good to me.